Welcome to the Quick Terrain Modeler Tutorials. In this video, you will learn how to work with Quick Terrain Modeler's latest annotation features, stencils, and marker icons. Additionally, we will demonstrate how to create basic vector annotations from a mensuration line, as well as explain the export possibilities for all annotations. Lastly, we will cover briefly how to create, modify, and use your own icons and stencils. Quick Terrain Modeler's stencil feature allows users to add vector annotations to the 3D scene. These stencils can be any item from simple arrows to scale drawings of aircraft and vehicles. QT Modeler includes a basic library of stencils, and these combine with the new icon feature and standard vector annotations allows users to create detailed 3D briefings directly in QT Modeler. Stencils can also be imported shapefiles, KML files, or several other file formats, and of course, everything created in QT Modeler can still be exported to PowerPoint for further breathing capabilities. There are two methods to add stencils to the 3D scene. The first and simplest method is to press the I key and left click at the location you wish to add the stencil. QT Modeler will open the default stencils folder, then simply choose the stencil or multiple stencils and select open to add the stencil. Holding the I, then the Alt key and left clicking will repeat adding the same stencil. The second method allows you to add a stencil at a specific marker location. In the layer tree, right click on any marker and select place stencil and proceed as the first method. The stencil will be centered on the marker's coordinates, leaving the marker itself unchanged. Stencils can be edited the same as vectors in previous versions of QT Modeler. Right click on the stencil name in the layer tree, then select Edit Style, Edit Nodes, Color, or Name, or use the K key to drag or rotate it with the left or right mouse buttons. You can also double click directly on the stencil in the 3D scene to edit the nodes of the stencil. Another great feature to make intuitive annotations are the new marker icons introduced in version 806. This allows users to assign style to an individual marker in the form of an icon. To assign an icon to a marker, simply right click on the marker name in the layer tree, select style, then icon, and choose from the icon list included with QT Modeler, or choose select custom image and navigate to your desired icon location. You can add custom marker icons by copying your own icons to the QT Modeler installation folder and into its icon subfolder. Icons must be in one of the formats listed here, with the most common being the PNG file format. Older icons with the .ico file extension can be converted in many basic desktop graphics programs or online at websites like convertico.com. For basic line annotations, select the mensuration tool and begin placing points with the left mouse button. At the end where you wish to stop the line, right click and select Create QT Vector and select Straight for a line that does not follow the terrain or sampled for one that does. Sample lines will always contour the underlying terrain even if you raise them above the model using the Edit Set Model Position feature. Straight vector annotations are useful for depicting most anything in the 3D scene including wire hazards on HLZs as shown here or delineating boundaries or anything else you can think of whether it is on the surface of the model or above the model. Shown here are examples of the various ways QT vectors can be displayed based on the type of vector and the display style you choose. When it comes time to export, vectors, including stencils, can be exported in the same manner as in previous versions of QT Modeler. Simply right click on the stencil name and select export and then the desired file type. Google Earth synchronization works same as ever. However, users should note custom marker icons will not export to Google Earth using the sync function or the marker export option. Additionally, like previous versions, stencils, which are vectors, must be manually exported. Users who wish to create their own icons can use most any basic graphics program. However, for an icon to display properly, the program and file format must support transparent backgrounds. In PowerPoint, this can be accomplished by creating the graphic using normal PowerPoint procedures, then selecting the item, right click on the item or items, and select Save As, then choose the .tif format, then proceed as previously discussed to set that file as your icon either by selecting it directly or saving it in the appropriate QT Modeler icon folder. 
Visio can also accomplish this by simply saving as a .png file and setting the background color to transparent in the save options. Creating your own stencils can be accomplished in programs that can save or export directly as a shapefile or .shp or in programs that can save as a drawing exchange format or .dxf or design file format which is a .dgn. Regardless of the format, you can add them to the 3D scene in the same manner as adding the stencils that come with QT Modeler. Our stencil library is growing rapidly and we love to hear your requests and where possible we will create and add them. In this tutorial we covered adding stencils to the 3D scene. Stencils, which are two scale graphic models of objects, can help users get a sense of scale in the 3D scene and help produce realistic graphic annotations. We also demonstrated how to add icons to markers for a more intuitive display of your most important point locations. Afterwards, we covered the export and sync possibilities of both stencils and markers, as well as how to create your own marker, icons, and stencils. For further information, don't hesitate to contact us. We'd love to hear from you. More information can be found at our website.